so that we can we can experience this kind of joy, which is is it fair to say more a recognition of the reality of who Christ is and what he's doing than so much an emotive experience? Yeah, it, it's a it's a knowledge that creates its own sense. I mean, there's there's an experience mm-hmm. that come that comes out of that, but it's a it's a more settled, it's a surer, it's a it's a deeper affection. Uh, of for him knowing that his love took him all the way to the cross and and makes him near to us even now. I think one of the ways to distinguish um, Paul from from like a false vision of joy is to think about uh, Stoics who were contemporary to him, whose idea was was to just develop sort of a total emotional passivity so that nothing affects you. And basically, it's kind of like what my dad used to say to me. You know, Reggie, never let your highs be too high or your lows be too low. Just try to find that middle ground. And that's like trying to find, that's what the Stoics were after. Just kind of find this bland, neutral gray, you know, or lukewarmness in, in your heart. Mm-hmm. And, and Paul is about recognizing the, the joy and the wonder of Christ's resurrection and the, the profound sadness of what it is still to be living in a, in a fallen world as a, as a fallen creature, needing to lean towards the day in which everything, you know, everything is, is made new. So for Paul, knowing Christ is, is recognizing that emotionally we live with black and white, we live with way up and way down, and knowing Christ is, is knowing him is the one that holds all that together, not negating. So Paul's world is not bland gray. It's like black, black, white, whites, like super, super bright, intense yellows and reds and blues, and, and just recognizing that not denying the emotional range of life in this world is where you know the real Christ and not just some stoic just denial of, of your emotions and denial of reality. And it's out of that knowledge of the real that the experience of, of real joy comes about.